several years into our relationship, we had been sharing what we had learned with people, and we had people in our living room, six couples in our living room, and we began to take a look at the whole question of, do we want to take our lives more out into the public? Do we want to share with more people? And about that time, Oprah called. And that was, uh, if you want to get uh, scared, uh, <laughs> get a call like that. And uh, so um, one thing that happened, though, actually there were two taboos that we kind of broke through on the show that kind of let us know that we could be out in the world and uh, have a good time being on television shows mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. We didn't have to kind of be different from who we are. And what happened was the producer right before the show came up and said, okay, which one of you is the talker? <laughs> which one of you is going to do the talking? <laughs> and I said, no, that's not the way it works in our relationship. No. Yeah, and we both talk and we're both on screen. And it was amazing because he said, well, you know, our, the cameras really can't handle that. They can either... They can do a headshot of you, or they can do a headshot of you, but they, we can't handle both of you on screen at the same time. It was this huge a kind of metaphor alert, like, oh my goodness, they can't really film relationship. And that, that was amazing. That was kind of stunning, because, yeah. uh, and it, he said also, that, that's why we don't like to have couples on the show <laughs> teaching about relationship. You know, we like to have one person at a time. Well, um, the other reason was that they'd have many experiences where they'd have couples come on, and they'd end up getting in a hassle, uh, on live television, or, or and, in the green room, or in the green room uh, and then they the lose one of them. And so the, the first big taboo, we said, look, do what you need to do, but we're both the talkers, and so you get us there, okay? And they were kind enough to re-sculpture their machinery there to make that happen. The second big taboo, though, there was a situation where we were working with a couple on her show, and it was about not telling the truth about something. And so I said something that I'd probably said to thousands of people in therapy, I said, you're really going to need to speak honestly about that and speak honestly to your partner about that. And this led to a big discussion about whether it's okay to tell the truth in relationships. Which was an astounding uh, discussion for us because it was such a common, I mean, it's really the ground of our relationship, the vitality and the sexiness and the connection that comes out of telling the truth that was so familiar to us, it, it was a moment of shock, kind of, what, what to, are they... To see the audience yeah. react, because yeah. half the audience was of the opinion that absolutely not, you must at all costs never tell the truth to your partner. Now, did you really need to say that to your partner? Yeah, and all that kind of thing, and so, um, and we were quite of the opinion, and still are, that relationships only thrive when people are absolutely honest with each other and make the whole relationship kind of a haven of honesty. And so, but uh, breaking that taboo, of being able to say out in public and see people kind of go boo and uh, go crazy around concepts that we take very yeah. sacredly and seriously, uh, that was a huge moment for me in letting me know, okay, well, yeah. if I'm going to live my life out in public, mm -hmm. the only protection I have is just to be absolutely honest. And from that day forth, I've never felt a second of anxiety on any of those shows or anything like that. Yeah, because when you tell the truth, there's really nothing to worry about and you don't have to remember anything. And it allows it allowed us to really stay vital, alive, and in our relationship, even though we were living it in public.